Blast me to Bermuda. It's time for the Bad Merlin's unboxing of Warhammer Commemorative Series Mebelor Dark Fang by Games Workshop. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mad Merlin's unboxing. So today I've got here the Warhammer Commemorative Series Mebelor Dark Fang from the Slaves to Darkness range and for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar game. So first off, a little bit of background about who she is. Mirror is a Chaos Sorcerer blessed with the rampaging powers of Gur. Having spent so much time there, she has even started to take on a rather bestial form, growing horns, hooves and fur all over her body, and even a tail. She is accompanied with a set of familiars, a little lizardman type creature with a uh, trumpet bone, a snarling light, um, living pot, a little robed acolyte there with some scrolls, and her personal bodyguard there, a little tiny warrior of chaos. So here we have a look on the back side of the box. So she's got a Chaos Rune Blade and she's got her Sorcerer Staff as well. So, Meeble Law is part of the Warhammer Commemorative series and is only available to people who have subscribed for a full year to Warhammer Plus for the second year. Out of the two models available, this one was the only one that actually took my fancy. Wasn't much or keen on the classic World Eaters Terminator, but I am a sucker for a good Warrior of Chaos Sorcerer. So let's open her up and see what she's like inside. So I've got my handy knife here. Just slash open wrapping. There we go. So we've got her instruction book here and a Chaos Sorcerer Lord War Scroll on the back. So she goes together pretty easily, but she is a multi part model and does require glue. So each of her familiars are only single components and go on 25mm bases. Whereas she goes on a 32 mil base. And then we have our rules. So she's a Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Movement of 5, 5 wounds, a 4 plus save, and bravery of 7. She has the Sorcerer Staff uh, weapon, which is range 2, 1 attack, 4 to hit, 3 to wound, minus 1 rend, and d3 damage. And her Rune Blade is 1 inch range, 2 attacks. Free to hit, free to wound, no rend, but one damage. So she's got her special abilities of oracular vision, and she is a wizard, of course. And you got multiple languages if you like languages. So here she is in her frame. She comes in the classic, standard um, plastic black frame. That all these commemorative models come in. We also have a baggie of five 25mm bases, but we only need four, so we've got one spare. And we've got her 32mm base there. And here she is in all her bestial glory. So we'll take a closer look up closer look at her on the overhead cam in just a sec. But we got some wonderful detail there. So we've got the classic familiars. They're all quite nice and comical. And her staff is emblazoned with a horned demonic face, which is pretty cool. So let's go to our vertical camera and we'll take a bit closer look at the detail. 
So here we have Meeblelore up close and personal. And as you can see, it's a rather nice model. So there's only a few components that build up her Meeblelore herself. You can see on the underside of a skirt there, we can see her tail. Then on the book with her rune fang embedded in, we've got her bestial hoofed foot. And the book has teeth into the pages, so it's probably a book that will turn around and bite you. We can see her extended right hand here. She's got a skull ring on one finger, but the rest of her arm is giving over to the rather bestial nature of Gur. She's got a nice um, Chaos Star emblazoned on her corset there. She's got some armor panels, including gauntlets and hip guards. Shoulder pads, you've got a nice Chaos Star there as well, which goes around her head as a nice halo. And then we've got the familiars and her face there. So she's got a headdress with a single eye and she's wearing bandages over her mortal eyes. She has rather bestial fangs in her mouth and she's got a pair of rather gruesome looking horns sprouting from her head. So this is definitely a being given over to chaos. Here we have a little warrior of chaos there, her little bodyguard, her pot who seems to be eating his own ladle. Got a little trumpeter, amphibian type creature. And we got the tentacle legged um, familiar there with scrolls. I, know, I think it's just pointy shoes, not tentacles. But rather nice, can't wait to build these and paint them. So as I said, this model was exclusive to those of you who have subscribed to Warhammer Plus for a whole year. It's now the end of the three month period and you can claim your model. If you've subscribed via a monthly pay scheme, you can pick it up and after 12 months, I believe. So there we have it. And while we're over, let's have a close look at her instructions. So we can see how she goes together. Fairly simple. So we just uh, attach her leg and her head, then her arm and the halo. And she should be fairly easy to paint. I may leave her leg loose, I'm not too sure yet, just so I can reach in and paint the tail a bit better. But as it's fairly recessed area, it might be left dark with just a fine highlight that I can get on the tip of it. So there we have it. I'll just bring her in and give you my final thoughts. So there we have the unboxing for Meeble or Dark Fang and she is a rather nice uh, Chaos Sorcerer model and perfect for the era of the beast that we are now in in Age of Sigma. The familiars, while fun, aren't necessary for fielding her in your games of Warhammer Age of Sigmar, but they do add as a nice little bit of extra detail and they can be used as wound counters. So all in all, a rather nice model and I can't wait to build her and paint her up. So that's it for this video. All that's left for me to do is to say thank you all for watching. If you think I deserve it, please give this video a like, and also don't forget to subscribe for more mad content. So, I'll see you next time. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye.